sehr vielschichtig. There are many diseases that we see. Everything from cuts on the feet to HIV. We had a child who was HIV positive. When he became ill, we had to find a solution. The hand of 12-year-old Dimbaru was mutilated. He was kidnapped and tortured over a five-year period. His misfortunes were punished with boiling water. Dimbaru's mother comes twice a week to the compound. It's to practice with her son and to re-establish a stable relationship. But for Dimbaru, it's not easy to play table tennis with his mother. With his mutilated hand, grabbing the racket is difficult. And a mother whom Dimbaru no longer trusts, a situation which puts great stress on the boy. On this morning, it's too much for Dimbaru. He was not up to the meeting. It takes 45 minutes before Dimbaru is calm again. The smallest of upsets can awake memories for him. This is his release. Dimbaru suffers from his past and this is displayed in his actions. For example, he will run away from us and then turn to throw stones at us. The paradox is that he has conditioned himself to attack before having to defend himself. How much strength do you need to hold on to him? Not so much. Maybe for 10 minutes it's difficult, but for the rest of the time it's more about Dimbero wanting security, and this is one way that he can feel that. Back in the group, Dimbero still has a long way to go before he has learned to accept the mutilation of his hand and lock it in the past. Also for his mother, this is a difficult process. She has another six children and lives with her family in a small hut. Her husband is at home, but he's ill. No one knows what the problem is. One assumes it's a cold or pneumonia or perhaps tuberculosis. I cannot imagine caring for Dimbaru all by myself. I don't have the strength. It's too much for me. What are her hopes, her wish for Dimbaru? Dimbaru I hope for Dimbaru that God gives him internal peace and that he can go, like his brothers and sisters, to school. A goal for the children is the public school, where they can usually start in September. Stefan and Simona committed themselves to work for one year, free of charge, in Addis Ababa. In six months, they go back to their families. An ambitious goal? Naturally, we've set very high goals. It's so hard for the children to get away from the streets. There's a saying that goes, once in the street, always in the street. The children need emotional security, love and above all confidence. Through sport we can try to rebuild and strengthen these emotions. That's why it's very important to reconstruct relationships in families, especially toward the mother. This is one area where money cannot help. It goes so much deeper than that. 
Twice a week, Adesu, the gang leader, is separated from the group by Sport the Bridge and taught individually. Adesu is not happy to be separated from his friends. He has a disturbed relationship with adults because of his experiences and must learn to trust them again. The good thing about this is that he can now do the training alone. It's a question of not asking too much too soon. It's a step-by-step -step approach. During a one-hour training session, he learned to listen to his trainer and take instruction from him. This is good progress. With purposeful exercises, Adesu's confidence with adults is strengthened. Here, he's blindfolded as a ball is thrown around him. For a child of the street, this is a very difficult task. Stripped of his senses, with danger around him, relying only on trust. Mesere, a victim of rape. Adesu, the charismatic gang leader. And tortured Dimbaru. Three street children from Addis Ababa who were given a chance thanks to Sport the Bridge. Was there a moment or moments where you thought that you couldn't carry on? Many times. Over and over again. I always say we take ten steps forward and eight steps back. It's extremely difficult. I can only work with the help of friends and people that believe. It's early evening in Addis Ababa. The children of Sport the Bridge go home. Those that don't have a home return to the streets. This is a part of the concept. No arms are distributed. The desire to get away from the streets must come from each individual. When we see this desire, we can begin to help. Also, for Ailu and her children, it's time to go home. But Adesu refuses to accompany his mother, preferring to return to the streets. Until Adesu will go home with his mother, there is a lot of work to do.